Good morning, everybody. Welcome back for another vlog. This one's very exciting, though, because it's going to be a pack with me travel prep vlog. First, though, we're going to go get some Starbucks. I have, like, Dakota hair on my dress. Um, and then I have a meeting with the client that I'm flying out for. We'll talk about it more, but I just wanted to say hello. Welcome. It's going to be a fun time. Got some breakfast. Got an iced chai tea latte, cheese danish, and a um, spinach and feta wrap because Starbucks finally got these back and I love them. Hi guys, like I said, welcome back for another vlog. This vlog, the word of it is like chaotic, but in a good way. Um, so yes, we're doing a little travel prep vlog, pack with me. Um, I might be getting my nails done today if I have time. Uh, I already had a business meeting with the client that I'm traveling for. We're getting a new mattress delivered, so there's like a lot of stuff going on. But I'll quickly just give a little intro. Kevin's getting ready for work, um, but I am taking my first plane ride in over a year and a half, which is really crazy, and I'm actually doing kind of like two trips combined. I'm gonna be gone for 10 days. So for the first leg of the trip, we are going to drum roll, please. We are going to LA, which is very fun. I have a client flying me out to produce a show there. So we're gonna be in LA for for four days, working for three, and then I have a day off, um, a Sunday in LA. I don't know what I'm gonna fill it with yet. Obviously, I'll vlog it for you guys. I have family that lives in LA. I've been there a lot, so I feel really comfortable there. Um, obviously, I love New York a little more, but for a few days here and there, definitely love a trip to LA. Um, and then from there, I'm going to Utah to spend a like almost a week there with my mom and my sister for my mom's birthday. So we're packing for like work and leisure. There's a lot happening, but it's gonna be good. I'm so excited. But for now, we need to tackle this because then we have to like unmake the bed because our new mattress is coming today. I'm gonna be going away for 10 days. So a little bit of a trip, especially because it's like work and then just like leisurely travel. So I'm kind of having to bring a lot for like a lot of different things. But the good thing is because I'm going somewhere where it's really hot, I'm not gonna be bringing like a ton of bulky clothes. It's a lot of like shorts, lightweight blouses, um, even like the pants that I'm bringing, like don't take up a lot of space. You think you're coming with? I'm so sorry, I wish I could take you. So I'll show you guys kind of how I have this organized. So these are my workout and like athleisure clothes. I have like Lululemon Align shorts, sports bras, a couple workout tanks. Here I have body suits and a skirt that I'm wearing for one of the nights in Utah. I have like a couple dressier things for work here. Where Dakota is, I have some like black and white uh, basic pieces. So little crop tops, t-shirts, tank tops, just a lot of black and white because it goes with everything. Bras and bralettes, underwear and socks, two pairs of pants, pair of jeans, and um, a pair of like trousers. <laughs> on its way out. The rest of our sheets are on the couch for now. Dakota's just chilling, thinking what's going on. This is the beginning of a very chaotic vlog, huh? Packing, mattress delivery, what's going on, little one? And it's almost your birthday. It's gonna be your birthday in like less than two weeks, which is crazy. So, packing update, all the clothes are put away. As far as beauty and stuff, I used to have like really large bags to organize everything, but I don't know where those are and honestly like since I'm trying not to travel a lot still because we're in a pandemic I didn't want to buy new ones. So all of my beauty stuff is just kind of like in this corner I still have a pretty decent amount of room and all I have left to really pack is like my Dyson air wrap um, And I'm only bringing a couple of the attachments and then my pajamas and a cardigan So we did pretty good. I still have my like evening skincare to put away but I'm not gonna do that until obviously I like wash my face tonight because I have a full face of makeup on because I'm producing a show tonight before we leave because we're just keeping busy. That's why I'm hyped up on a chai tea latte right now. Okay, Kevin just took Dakota outside because the apartment's about to get a little crowded. We are getting a new mattress delivered, which I'm so excited about. That was actually Kevin's birthday present to me is we went in on a mattress together, a new one, which I'm so ready for and I think it's really gonna help especially with my back recovery I feel like I say this in every video but for those who don't know I'm currently recovering from a herniated disc which was really really bad um, so yeah we're getting a new mattress they're gonna deliver the new one for us and dispose of the old which is awesome you can see where I got self tanner on the mattress which is not cute and then we'll continue packing like don't you feel like this vlog is chaotic in a good way 
it's like a lot happening i am excited to travel i'm excited to be in la i don't know what i'm gonna do for like my one day off but um i do know i'm, I'm staying in two hotels while i'm there and the first hotel is the one that the client's putting me up in and I think it's next to a mall. So maybe we'll do some wandering tomorrow after my flight. Because I know that I do get into LA pretty early. Just because I wanted a non-stop flight. So I didn't have to connect anywhere. And so that I would have time to like settle in, stretch, roll out my back. Because it's going to be a lot of sitting tomorrow. You guys, it's here. Oh my god, I'm so excited. A new mattress. Is this what being an adult really is? Like I've never been so excited for something in my life. Um, so for those who want to know, we got a Casper mattress. We got the original hybrid, which basically just means that it's like a mixture of a foam mattress and like a standard mattress. I don't think I said that right. It's half foam, half like spring, half box spring mattress. I think that's what it is. So comfortable though. And we actually got it through Raymore and Flanagan. If you live in New York, I highly recommend it. The delivery process seriously took five minutes. They took our old mattress for us. They set all of this up for our new one. And um, it's great. It's so like plush and lush and I'm just so excited. My back already feels so much happier. So good. I get to sleep on that for one night before going out of town. Although hotel beds are usually really comfy, so I'm not really worried about that. I did like glowier makeup today and I actually feel like I really like it, but my hair looks so crazy right now. I feel like I just look like sweaty. But once my hair is done, it's like, ooh, glowy makeup. It's a vibe, but right now I just look kind of crazy. But this is good. Okay, so now I have another meeting at three but maybe I can get my nails done right now. I'm about to pack up and go get my nails done. <laughs> She's looking at me, she knows what's happening. But I'm actually gonna bring my own color just because I'm gonna be gone, like I said, for 10 days. So in case the polish chips, I wanna be able to bring it with me. Um, so this is Essie's ballet slippers. And just when you think you're gonna have a little downtime, the universe says, nope. So I just got back from getting my nails done. They're actually really cute, I'll show you. I got them quite a bit shorter. And then I just did Essie ballet slippers on them. I really loved how long they were getting, but I was afraid that like they were gonna break on this trip because I'm gonna be gone for so long. And I don't wanna deal with getting a manicure in LA. I was like, you know what, let's just cut them. But in about five minutes, I have to get on another meeting for the show that I'm producing because I have to redo a huge piece of media for it. Not because I did anything wrong, but because the client just didn't communicate what they wanted correctly, so we have a meeting about that. I'll probably stay up pretty late. Honestly, maybe I'll pull an all-nighter um, because I am flying pretty early tomorrow, but yeah, we'll see. I did buy myself some bubble tea, though, to treat myself, um, so I'm probably going to sip on that in the meeting. Yum. Peach bubble tea. Or it's peach green tea with the boba, so yeah. Meeting wrapped up about 20 minutes ago. It was okay. Sorry, there's the AC blasting in the background, but it's really hot. So yeah, it was all right. Basically just went over what I have to redo. I might not have to pull a full all-nighter, but I will have to work a little extra and definitely buy Wi-Fi on the plane. So I'm gonna work a little bit more and then I might film a TikTok or two. I wanna let this hair down because I'm looking crazy. I'll obviously let it down for the show that I'm producing um, later tonight. But I also just want to feel kind of cute in this vlog and like I said, it's been a lot of uh, a lot of chaos so far I've been working, but now I'm taking a little break. I hope this vlog is interesting for you guys I initially thought that maybe it'd just be like a full pack with me But then I was like, I don't know if that's really interesting. So let me take you through like a busy travel prep work day I'm currently in the process of charging all my devices for tomorrow morning. It's so like my portable charger my iPad um, I'm downloading like a couple uh, shows to watch if I feel like it who knows if I will on the plane I'll probably just be working like I said buying Wi-Fi and working But what I am going to do is I'm gonna download some new books for my Kindle because The resort that we're going to in Utah is very like Isolated, um, so it's like a very slow moving calming resort. There's not a lot to do besides like hiking and reading which honestly is really nice I am gonna have to work but hopefully not a ton and so my mom was like make sure you download new books for your kindle so i thought we could do that together in my planner from ivory paper co um i have a couple pages dedicated to like the books that i want to read this year i actually already finished a complete page of books that i was wanting to read so then 
I started a new one on this page that specifically says reading wish list. I didn't even know that, that, that this was in here until a few days ago. I guess I like ac accidentally flipped past it. But yeah, these are just some of the books that I want to read. Um, so I'm going through them and seeing which ones I want to download for the plane ride, Utah, maybe if I have some downtime in LA to read, although I'm not sure I will. I have a feeling I'm going to read quite a few books on this trip. Um, and I already have six books downloaded. Some of them though are from like my Kindle Unlimited subscriptions. So like I didn't spend money to get them. I'm just like renting them. But this is currently what's in my Kindle library if anybody is interested. However, I'm a very fast reader. And if these days are really as like chill as my mom says they are, I'm gonna go through like a lot of books. Like probably one a day. I don't know if that's bad. Um, I really want to read Amanda Clute's new book. Um, if you guys don't know who Amanda is, her husband Nick Cordero was an incredible Broadway actor and he actually passed away from COVID last year, almost like a year ago to the day I'm actually recording this vlog. Um, and it was one of the first like major losses in the Broadway community from the pandemic and so she wrote a book about this last you know year or so in her journey and um, I really really want to read it just because her story is so inspirational um, Nick's story was incredible their love just seemed so beautiful um, and so I really want to make sure that I do read that it's called live your life if you guys are interested I was thinking of starting like some more book content either here on my TikTok. so let me know if you guys want to see that at all I still haven't read before we were strangers and I feel like everybody has been recommending that book but especially like Kinsey Elizabeth I remember she used to talk about that book so much yeah before we were strangers by Renee Carlino there's a little picture of it I've been trying to read like all of Colleen Hoover's books just because again I was very influenced to start reading her stuff and I became hooked I'm not even like a huge like romance book person but I just like um, I don't know. She writes really realistically. Not all of her books. Some of hers like take wild turns, but I do really like her writing style. So let's see, which ones haven't I read yet? I've read Heart Bones. I've read Regretting You. I've read Layla, Verity. Um, I haven't read It Ends With Us, so maybe that's what we'll read next but here's what that one looks like. But I'm also gonna go and charge this right now. And then I'm gonna start getting ready for the show that I have to produce because I have to be on in 30 minutes. Paella that I just heated up, show goes live in like 20 seconds. Here we go. <laughs> okay, we are all packed up. I feel like I did a pretty good job. It's all very compact. I've got little Dakota here. I'm excited to travel, but the only thing that would make it better is if I could take Kevin and Dakota. Because they're the best. I love you. Mwah. <laughs> you seem unamused. I know you're just tired though. The show went well tonight though. I stayed up and finished as much work for my client as I could. I would say I have like 30% left to do. So if I get to the airport a little early, I might just like find a chair, create a little workstation and see if I can finish before getting on the plane. Um, but tomorrow we start an actual travel vlog. How exciting. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also click that subscribe button if you haven't already. I don't even know if I said that at the beginning of the video. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to follow me and all of my other social media networks, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Clubhouse. There are links for everything always down below. Subscribe to my podcast, check out my Amazon shop. Um, I love you guys so much and I'll see you very, very soon. It'll probably be, it'll probably be a sit down video after this and then the first travel vlog. So yay.